Mona Lisa Got Her Smile by Anne Elizabeth Eaves Mona Lisa's lovely smile, that now is so adored, used to be an ugly frown that everyone abhorred. I'm sure you've heard a frown is a smile turned upside down. Well, Mona Lisa's frown went halfway to the ground. But if you had walked a mile in Mona Lisa's shoes, who's to say you wouldn't have been a sourpuss too? Everything in her life was slightly out of kilter. Her house was falling down, the one some lout had built her. When she bought a cow, the farmer also bilked her. Mona found the cow was dry when she went to milk her. On garbage day, Mona rushed her trash out to the bin. Instead, the garbage men tossed Mona Lisa in. But Mona's other problem made all the others trite. Mona's other problem was her shoes were much too tight. Mona moaned and groaned. Her feet were in such pain. No one paid attention as she complained in vain. Mona's feet were aching. She scowled and hollered, Ouch! Who could blame poor Mona for being such a grouch? She needed some relief, some shoes that didn't hobble her. So she went to a store owned by the village cobbler. The cobbler was a master, a man of some renown. If shoes would do the trick, he'd rid her of her frown. My feet are killing me, Mona Lisa blurted out as she sat down on the couch with a surly pout. Yeah, and they don't smell good, said the cobbler with a sniff when he took her shoes off and got his first good whiff. The cobbler wasn't used to feet so plainly reeking. Still, he helped Mona find the shoes that she was seeking. He added and subtracted, divided, multiplied. This lady had petite feet, but they were really wide. She needs violin cases, he muttered to himself as he stood to reach for shoes high up on the shelf. He pried on haughty loafers. She tried on gaudy pumps. Not a single pair would fit her. She was in the dumps. With every shoe she tried, Mona's mood got bleaker. But then the cobbler tried a pair of cushy sneakers. Mona had always wished for a pair of shoes like this. They didn't pinch her toes. Her pinkies felt such bliss. Goodness, how her feet felt, like cushy clouds of air. Those sneakers felt so neat. Well, she had to have a pair. In shoes this cool and sporty, her life was now a dream. Even the garbage men noticed her newfound self-esteem. Now Mona wore a smile. Her shoes were never pinchy. Her smile soon caught the eye of an artist named Da Vinci. He painted Mona's picture, but let's be very frank. He got all the credit, but the sneakers were to thank. The sneakers did the trick and shooed the frown from Mona's face. Those shoes replaced the blues and put a smile in its place. The End